how to send telegram messages with whatsapp automatically so in this video i'll show you how you can connect a telegram and whatsapp in such a way that every time a new message is received in one of your telegram group how you can automatically get the same message on your whatsapp as well yes you can receive the very same message you can get the notification about the very same message on your whatsapp without doing anything manually so if you also want to sync your telegram and whatsapp messages come with me and i will show you how you can set this automation for yourself so this is my telegram account and here you can see i have created a group with the name pabli team and whatever the message i have received here the same message has been received on my whatsapp number as well and this is how you can also sync your telegram group messages with whatsapp for that you will have to build a connection in between telegram and whatsapp so basically i am sending and receiving the messages on whatsapp using this interact application so i will have to build a connection in between telegram and interact and i am going to to do that with the help of pabli connect which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect to multiple applications and automate your task well you can also reach here by typing pabli.com/connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i have clicked on sign in then i have clicked on access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect now the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this create workflow button and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i'm going to provide i'm going to paste the same name as the name as when message is arrived in telegram get same message on whatsapp now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you so these are trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the message is received in one of your telegram group basically in telegram application automatically receive the same message in whatsapp application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am I'm building an automation in telegram application and whatsapp application basically in interact application so that is why i have selected telegram as my first application and in trigger event i'm going to select this set webbooks watch updates okay so the idea here is we are going to connect our telegram account with the pabli connect okay for that you will have to click on this connect button then click on add a new connection and it will ask you to follow these instructions so, so here firstly it is saying go to your telegram so this is my telegram account and here to create a new bot type slash new bot to the message box and press enter okay so firstly i will take you to my telegram account and here i am going to search for the bot father well here you can see the bot father is already available let me first delete all the existing messages so that it will be visible to you very clearly all right so i'll have to wait why it has not deleted okay all right the messages the chat history has been deleted now i am going to follow the instructions one by one okay so firstly it is asking to create a new bot type slash new bot to the message box and press enter so i am going to copy the same and i will press the same thing i will enter the same thing and then i am going to press enter and here you can see it is saying that all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot okay so firstly you will have to provide a random name to your bot so how about i am i provide the name as whatsapp okay whatsapp telegram connection 321 okay uh, i am hoping that it will take this name in the first time only press enter and yes good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end in bot like this for example and it has also provided an example so how about i copy the same thing and i am going to provide this particular username so let me remove this 321 press underscore and then as per the instruction i am going to add this bot okay press enter and here you can see the bot has been created congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this particular 
our place and here you can see we have finally received the token which i am going to copy and paste it into the pabli connect and this is how you can connect your telegram account with the pabli connect and now what will happen every time you will receive a new message into pabli team group the same message will be received via pabli connect but before that i am going to do one more very important settings that is this is the group the pabli team group whose messages i would like to receive okay so firstly i am going to copy the name of my bot and then i am going to add the very same bot into this particular group basically you will have to add you will have to add your bot into that group whose messages you would like to receive currently there are seven members into this particular group i am going to add one more member and this time the member is actually our bot which we have just created okay and not just that you will also have to make this bot as an admin of this group okay so currently who is the admin of this particular group well i cannot see it into my telegram web i'll have to check it from my telegram uh, application basically from my mobile okay I'm going to make this particular bot as an admin of my Pabli team group. For that, I'll have to use Telegram into my mobile application. Basically, you can also change the admin permission from the mobile only. Okay, so let's wait for that. All right, so I have made this particular bot as an admin of this Pabli team group using the mobile application of the Telegram. Okay, now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and click on this button Save and Send Test Request, and you will see every time. a new message has arrived from any of these eight members the same message will be received via pabli connect okay so i will ask one of my friend to send a message here and you will see how the same message will be received via pabli connect All right so here you can see the Neeraj Shivasav have sent a message that hello team a customer is keep calling me and asking for the notes for which he has already paid last night i'm sharing his number please link look into this query the customer name is here the customer number is here okay now i will come back to pabli connect and check whether the response is received or not and here you can see the response is received already and if i will check into this message text it is the same message the exact message which the neeraj shivastav has sent into our telegram group and let us check for other details so here we have the first name basically we even have the username the last name and we even have the first name of the person okay so this is how and we even have the group name okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to send a message into our telegram group the same message will be received via pabli connect already basically automatically and here you can see since this trigger works instantly the message will be received instantly in no time okay now the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation of our integration is working absolutely fine which was connecting telegram group and pabli connect and capturing the data here now we are going to send the same data to interact application because we want to send the whatsapp messages basically i want to send the same message on one of my whatsapp number basically on i would like to receive receive this message on my whatsapp number now in action event you will have to select this send whatsapp template message simply click on connect and just like we have connected telegram and pabli connect you will also have to connect your interact account with pabli connect for which you will have to click on this add a new connection if you are building the connections for the first time and it will ask you the secret key so from where you can get the secret key simply click on this hyperlink and if you are already logged in into your interact application it will direct directly take you to that specific page from where you can get your token basically the secret key okay so i'm going to copy this code and pasting it here but i am already i have already connected my interact with the pabli connect so how about i use this existing connections but make sure if you are building the connections for the first time you will have to go with this add new connection and it is mandatory to provide that secret key okay i'm going with the existing connection clicking on save and this is how the interact 
that application will be connected immediately with the Pabli Connect. Now it is asking for the phone number and that to add two places. Okay, one is actually the phone number. The second one is actually the full phone number. Now what is that and what is the difference? Okay, so firstly, I'll show you some note provided by the Pabli Connect. Okay, so it is clearly saying that it is mandatory to give a value for either the full phone number or for both the phone number and the country code. Okay, so, so assume that on whatever the number you would like to send or receive the message if that number consists of the country code as well then it will be considered as the full number here you can see the country code along with the phone number but just in case if you do not have the number if you do not have the country code along with your phone number in that case you will have to provide the values individually but if you have the full phone number basically with the country code you will have to provide the number into this specific field so how about i provide my number here exactly and i'm not going to take the number from any place because here in this particular case i would like to receive the notification on my whatsapp number only so here i will be adding my number only that too with the country code okay and here right in front of you i'm simply adding this dummy number but don't worry i will replace this number with the genuine one when i'm about to click on this save and send request button okay now i have provided the full number it is asking for the template code name so what are the templates okay so i will take you to my interact application and here you will see from the left hand sidebar you will notice an option of template simply click on that template section and here exactly into this active section you will find various templates which is created by me or by my team so what are these templates so whenever you want to send or receive a message to your customer to your clients or to any user firstly you will have to create a message template from this particular button into your application then get it approved via facebook and then only you can initiate the conversation with your customers by sending that template most okay and here you can see I have created several message template into my interact application and few of them are approved basically the templates marked with the green color are actually the approved one the templates marked with the red color are actually the uh, rejected one and I do not have currently any pending template but those templates will be marked as the yellow in color okay and how you can create this template so I am going to show you my existing message template which I have created and which I I have got the approval so that you will be understand you will understand that how you can also create a template so firstly you will have to provide a name to your message template then you will have to select a language then you will have to select the header well again it is optional it is completely up to you whether you would like to attach anything along with your message in my message I have attached a text into my header so that is why I have specified the text here okay this is my interact application again it is completely up to you and this is the body section basically from here exactly you can create your message which you would like to send or receive okay and you must be thinking that what are these numbers into my message which I have packed with the curly braces okay so whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you will have to specify those values in the form of variable now how you can add these variables into your message well basically when you are going to create your message template you will find a button called as add variable exactly at this particular place okay but currently I am actually into the view mode and this template is already approved so that is why that specific option is not visible into this particular section but don't worry into this editing mode you will be able to find that option and it is completely up to you that how many variables you would like to add into your message and again whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you will have to keep them into the form of variable again the footer is optional it is completely up to you and buttons are optional I have not added anything and make sure here I would like to give you a small tip that make sure when you are going to submit this template for the approval do not forget to provide the samples now what are the samples so basically you are specifying you are telling the system that what values will come in place of these variables as a dummy content as a sample content okay 
so this is how you can also create a template and get it approved now i'll go back to pabli connect but before that let me copy the template code which you can get from this url section and do not include any slash okay all right so coming back to pabli connect and here i'm going to provide the template code now it is asking for the language well i have selected english as the language so code will be en if just in case i have selected english us as the language in that case en us will be the code so basically as per the language you will have to provide the code and you can check for that here by checking this particular link now it is asking for the header value well again it is completely up to you whether you would like to keep any header value or not well yes i would like to keep this particular text i want that every time a message will arrived this heading should be attached along with my message so that is why i am going to add this particular data this particular content this particular line here now the most interesting part of this particular uh, whatsapp section is body variables value so basically we are going to provide that what values will come in place of these variables from here exactly and how what is the syntax what is the format well the format is already given here you just need to provide the value and simply put a comma and after that you can provide the value of the second variable okay so firstly i want that here the group name should appear from where i'm actually receiving the message so i'll have to check whether i have received any group name into my above application from the above application or not and yes i have received this chat title as the pabli team so i am going to add this particular data and instead of manually copying this data and paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and this is how you will find the above data. data here in the drop down simply search for that specific data and click on that data and this is how the value will be mapped okay the second thing it is asking for basically i have specified the second thing as the sent via basically from whom i have received that particular message so i have received that message from neeraj shrivastav i remember i remembered i'm sorry for that so i'm going to map the first name and the last name of that person okay so i'm going to map the first name now i'll give a space and then i am going to provide again the last name as well okay all right so i have mapped the first name and the last name now again i'll have to put a comma and the last thing i have is the whole message okay so i am going to map the message here so again i have received the message that hello team a customer is keep calling me and asking for the notes so, all right so i have successfully mapped the message as well and this is how you can provide the values of your variables i have not included any dynamic url any dynamic button so i am going to leave these two fields blank and before i click on this particular button firstly i am going to delete this existing message so that i can show you how the messages will be arrived automatically and i will also have to change this dummy number with my personal genuine whatsapp number All right so I have provided my WhatsApp number clicking on this button save and send test request fingers crossed waiting for the response and here you can see the response is received and into my response it is saying that message has been sent I'll have to check my WhatsApp web All right so here you can see the message is arrived into my WhatsApp number new message in Telegram group this is the same heading dear manager new message is arrived in one of your Telegram group the group name is Pabli team sent via Neeraj Shrivastav and the message is hello team a customer is keep calling me and asking me for the notes for which he has already paid last night i'm sharing his number please look into this query the customer name is dummy customer the customer number is this thanks all the best enjoy automation okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to send a message into your telegram group you can receive the very same message into your whatsapp application and for that you'll have to set this automation inside pabli connect just once and after that every time someone is going to send a message it will be received via whatsapp and once you have created this automation inside pabli connect you can simply close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and here i have 
have forgot to tell you that so whatever the details you have mapped here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so in this particular place i have provided i have provided this data uh, with the help of mapping so these details will be replaced automatically but wherever i have provided the data manually that detail will remain same in every case just in case if you want to access this automation which i have created right in front of you i will also attach the link of my workflow into my description box you can simply click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video